MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 58 Kinematics Instantaneous Velocity Which of the following statements best represents an example of instantaneous velocity? A. A train will take five hours in total to travel to reach its final destination of Boston um, at 15 miles per hour. B. The projectile was traveling upward at 50 meters per second um, 10 seconds after its launch from the cannon. C. The car traveled a distance of 100 miles in the second hour of travel to Saskatchewan. That's a location in Canada or like a province in Canada for those of you who don't know. Or D. The new aircraft built by Boeing has a maximum cruising speed of 400 miles per hour. All right, so take a moment to think and try your best to select the correct answer choice. All right, so hopefully by now you are able to arrive at an answer and if you still haven't, press pause if you need to and then continue. But if you're still not sure, that's fine. Let's take a look at the solution now. Okay, so instantaneous um, velocity represents velocity at a specific instant in time, okay? So if we examine answer choice D, by saying the aircraft has a maximum cruising speed of 400 miles per hour, it is still only a potential value to attain. When or whether it actually reaches this velocity, we, we don't know, okay? Um, knowing the velocity and time will often aid in figuring out the displacement. Given a constant velocity or average velocity like traveling at 15 miles per hour in five hours, okay? So we can eliminate A also. That's not necessarily what we're looking for. And again, we're eliminating D. Now as for answer choice B, knowing the distance in time will often aid in figuring out the average speed, okay? Like traveling 100 miles in an hour. So we can eliminate that also. We're eliminating it for the same reasons that we're eliminating A, okay? But if the projectile was traveling, now we're on to, um, actually now we're on to B. So if the projectile was traveling um, upward at 50 meters per second, okay, for uh, 10 seconds after its launch, then we know it's instantaneous velocity. So the correct answer choice is going to be answer choice B because the projectile at a specific time at 10 seconds is traveling at this velocity, 50 meters per second, okay? All right.